Hello, God saints, and welcome to Scotch Chapel Online Ministries. This is Pastor Fred with today's Bible moment. Today's Bible moment. And that Bible moment is the message of the cross. The message of the cross. I want to take our attention to 1 Corinthians chapter 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 1. And if you look with me in the 17th verse, for Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom and eloquence, lest the cross of Christ be emptied of its power. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. My brothers and sisters, this is all about Christ, and it's all about the cross of Jesus Christ, the message of the cross. It is that it is the power of God, it is that the wisdom of God, and it is through him that we have forgiveness of our sins, that we have been justified, that we have been cleansed from all unrighteousness, that we've been given new life, a new birth into a new kingdom that is being prepared for us through Jesus Christ. It is everything, everything. But it is also in this particular uh, passage, Paul talks about that it is foolishness to the rest of the world. And the message of the cross is God is through this cross. He is going to destroy the wisdom of the wise, the intelligence of the intelligent. He will frustrate because you know, it has nothing to do with pedigree. It has nothing to do with the teachers of the law, uh, how wise you are, the philosophies, the scientific research and uh, denying creation uh, over evolu evolution uh, and so on and so on. It is the message of the cross. It is what Jesus did for us. It is not through signs and wonders and religious ceremonies. And it is not through our intellect and mentality and by our own efforts and strength. He says that's what the Jews demanded a sign in verse 22. Greeks look for wisdom. But verse 23 says, but we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to the Gentiles, but to those whom God has called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. God chose these lowly things of this world and the despised things and the things that are not to nullify the things that are so that no one may boast before him. We have a message to preach. It is not the message of the world, but it is the message of the cross of Jesus Christ. And I like what Isaac Watts had uh, pen the words of this hymn. He says, Alas, and did my Savior bleed, and did my sovereign die? Would he devote that sacred head for such a worm as I? Was it for crimes that I had done he groaned upon the tree? Amazing pity, grace unknown, and love beyond degree. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burdens of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight and now I am happy all the day. I do believe, I do believe that Jesus died for me and through his blood, his precious blood, I am from sin set free. That's the message of the cross. That is the power of Christ and the power of God, the wisdom of our Lord and Master. God bless you. 
I smile upon you. Happy Sunday.